Chlamydia and gonorrhea are both sexually transmitted infections. They share some similarities and have overlapping signs and symptoms, but they are caused by different bacteria. Chlamydia is the most common sexually transmitted infection and affects around 3% of sexually active young women. It is caused by the bacterium Chlamydia trachomatis. Gonorrhea is also a common infection but is less prevalent compared to chlamydia, affecting around 0.8% of the same population. Generally, such bacterial infections are twice as common in females as in males. The main similarities between the two are as follows, both are asymptomatic in most cases, with around 50-70% to 70 of gonorrhea and chlamydia cases showing no symptoms. Both can cause serious complications if left untreated, such as pelvic inflammatory disease, which can lead to infertility in women. When symptoms do appear, they may include burning during urination or painful intercourse, vaginal discharge, or discharge from the penis in men, and bleeding between periods in women. The discharge in chlamydia is more mucus-like or watery and can often be mistakenly perceived as normal. Whereas gonorrhea discharge tends to be more purulent or pus-like, often appearing more yellow or greenish in color, and is usually cloudier and thicker than that of chlamydia. The incubation period, the time before symptoms appear following infection, typically occurs within three weeks for chlamydia and is usually shorter for gonorrhea, often less than a week. The co-infection rate is around 15% in sexually active adults particularly in men who have sexual contact with other men. The standard test for screening and diagnosis is the nucleic acid amplification test. Samples are typically taken from urine in men and from endocervical or vaginal swabs in women. Screening is recommended for pregnant women and sexually active women under the age of 25. The first-line treatment for these infections includes for chlamydia, azithromycin, a single 1G dose, or doxycycline, twice a day for seven days. For gonorrhea, treatment usually involves a combination of antibiotics due to the high rate of resistance, such as ceftriaxone, 500 mg single dose, intramuscular, and azithromycin, especially in cases of chlamydia co-infection.